Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. The alphabet agenda strikes again. What a nightmare that I'm seeing. You probably want to know, wait, what do these ladies have to do with these ladies? These are just some ladies shopping at a mall that's probably reopened. Yeah, you'd think that if you didn't know who, if you don't know about gender, and if you don't know who these people are. But then, I've been hearing about this video, and it's very disturbing. Because what you're actually seeing is not for women, and not to mention, if you look at the upper body, they're not women. These are men wearing women's clothing. I'm not going to put up the audio because then I can risk being copyrighted. But this is what Holly Weird is doing to our young black men. This is what Hollywood is doing to the younger generation of black folks, and particularly the black male. Not all, matter of fact, not a lot of the black male, but just some. They're effeminizing, they're feminizing black males each day. They promote it in the music, they promote it on television, they promote it on film, you know, you heard I've talked about how that comic book of the New Warriors, how they're gonna have that black male with all pink named Safe Space. And then speaking of Marvel, and that's from Marvel Comics, and speaking of Marvel, uh that's the same company that wants to have the Atlanta actor Brian Tyree Henry Tyron um whatever his name is, wanna play the first gay superhero who's a a black superhero by the name of Phantos in the upcoming Eternals. Even though the comic book character when he was first introduced was not a alphabet character. No he wasn't. But that show but there was another character within that team that was rumored to be LGBT, but they're not making that character LGBT. They're making the black one um alphabet. But to sit here and accept this, I've called this out. Some other people are calling this out. Um, rightfully so, they are calling this out. They know that there's an agenda going on. But then you also have some people supporting it. There are some people like myself who are against it. Yeah, there are some people like myself who are against it. And there are others who are against it. But then you have some people who are for it on here. Now, this is not everyone. But, now this is someone who's against it, so good. But you have this person who's for it. I love my LGBT community. Y'all forever slay. Now, here's the thing. This is... Yeah, this is a black woman who supported. I bet you she's part of the feminist crowd who hates black men and wants to help with the effeminization. You have some black women and even some black men that are defending. Now, this guy, he's he's defending it because it turns out he, he happens to be LGBT himself. Yeah, this guy right here. Turns out he's LGBT himself. See, see the feminization right here. So he's supporting it. And then you have some black women, even some straight black women, are defending this. And some of them are black feminists. You know, the anti-black hater, ma male haters. But these would be some of the same people where, well, if they can't find a good man, they'll ask, "Where? Why can I not find a good man?" Uh, a good straight black man, uh, then I'll tell them there are s still good straight black men, but unfortunately, some of the black men in the community have been feminized. They end up liking other men or become transgender and be turned into woman 
and you actually supported that. So yeah, that's why black some black men are disappearing and are not. That's why some black men are disappearing from this earth because you're feminizing them. This is a problem. This is a huge problem. This is a huge problem. Now, luckily, there are some both black men and black women who are against this, that are against this, that are fighting back against this. And like I said, I actually called this out and went against it. And then, of course, I had some of these defenders come up and attack me. And, you know, but you know what? I can care less. They can um, screw them. They can go to hell. Just like these four individuals on this video right here on this tweet. So, yeah. See, they want to defend it. And then when they figure out if our race declines, they're going to ask, why is our people declining and then i'm going to say well because of the L uh, alphabet agenda if too many of us people go the alphabet agenda we're not going to have a lot of children being born because of the alphabet agenda so and you that you supported that's why our numbers decline they want to this society, this racist society that hates black people, wants to weaken black males, effeminize them, turn them to women, like these four individuals, so that we will have nothing, so we will have a generation of weak, feminized black males. This is, now, not everyone in the new generation of black males is becoming this. Thank God, there are some in the new gen in the new generation that's also against this. About fact, there's a lot of them that is that is against this. But this is becoming a problem. If we don't do something about this, this could be could lead to the operation extinction of the black male or black people in general. So, this is a huge problem. This is another case of the, of the Alphabet Mafia agenda at work. And it's time to fight back against this. They, they promote against this kind of promotion. We need to fight back against this kind of propaganda that's being pushed on our young black males and the young generation of black males immediately. As a black male myself, they are, this makes, this is a, this is a disgrace to black men like myself. As a young, as a black man, this is disgraceful, this is shameful, this is cowardice, this is weakness. And I know you're going to have some people in that community, it's like, you're being some kind of phobia. If you want to live this lifestyle, Go ahead, but just don't be pushing it on me and don't be pushing on everything. And then when people decide that they're not going to do this type of lifestyle, don't be telling them that there's some kind of phobia. All right. You, that's when you're, you're, you're pushing it. And we know that you're being used by the racist society to push this. But that's all I have to say about this. This was on Twitter. I'll leave a link to this Twitter so y'all to see it for yourselves on your own time. This is very disgraceful what I'm seeing. This is very disgraceful what I'm seeing. But yeah, leave, leave right in the comment section what you think about this, this nightmare that I'm seeing. Um, make sure you hit that like button. I really want y'all to share this video. Hit that like button. That spreads um, the video. Help uh, also subscribe. Hit that yeah. Also hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell wherever you, you're watching this. YouTube, Black Georgia, etc. Twitter, etc. Um, um, yeah. I also leave links for you to uh, uh, different accounts for you to follow me on. But that's all I have to say for now. This is J Dog. Thank you for watching, and I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.